Hi and welcome to the Smart Traffic Light tutorial. This tutorial is about creating intersections and today I put this uh, pole here in my level and we click to the Smart Traffic Light folder and first of all we set up our traffic light. After you set up your traffic light, it should look like this when you simulate the game or just are playing your game. In the last tutorial I mentioned the number above the traffic light here, it's at the moment a zero and this presents the traffic light group ID. We can have multiple traffic lights with the same ID um, which get then switched um, at the same time when you say hey now the traffic phase or the traffic lights has to be in red or green state. And this is why we scroll down and have here a tab called for smart intersection system and we click here on use smart intersection system true we later add an interaction actor don't worry about this and this here traffic light id group is a id i mentioned before the zero which you can see above your traffic light so if we change this to one you see here a one this um, number above our traffic light is invisible in game and just should help us to identify the traffic light group IDs of each traffic light and then we can set it up. So to continue I duplicate now this traffic light and I put it now um, at the top of the pole here like it would be for example in real life we have a side um, traffic light and maybe also a topper traffic light maybe if you are on the federal road or something where you drive a little bit faster and if you have to see the traffic light on the federal road from far more away now i duplicate the pole copy paste go to meshes and include my wonderful smtl holder base mesh which is here the base mesh or the holder mesh for the uh, traffic light. After I finished uh, the process of building the traffic light we can simulate again and see a wonderful traffic light in working conditions and now we continue to create the intersection or the junction however you want to call it behind. To do this first of all I group the whole stuff here together. We copy and paste the traffic light here and now I put it on this um, side of the road here and we duplicate it again and I put it here on the opposite side of the road. Now our intersection is nearly done because we have here ID 0, there we have ID 0 and here we also have ID 0. But this one here should be ID 1. So I ungroup everything, we go to this traffic light here, I press or I click on this one and this one and we scroll down and we have here our smart section system enabled but we have the traffic light id group to zero so add this and change it to one now we have here one and this traffic light is an other traffic light than this one while uh, the traffic lights with id zero this one and this one here are the same so if this traffic light behind uh, this one here is green this one in the foreground is also green it's a very simple process. We could also say, okay, this traffic light should not be green when this traffic light is green. But this makes no sense. Uh, we should add here another lane, maybe a turn lane or something like this when you want to turn left. Then you have here an additional traffic light. This would make sense. But in our case here with this simple road, it makes sense that this is zero, this one here is zero, and this one here is one. Or these booths here are one. Okay, let's um, see what we can do. In our case, we can simply say, okay, we uh, select the wonderful traffic lights here and then I say simply, okay, it's not green, it starts with red while this is zero um, ID group here is uh, starting with green. So when I turn now this traffic light here, though we can better see it, we uh, can see, give me a second, we can see what happens now. We have here red, there's green, there's green. So everything is working very fine. So now you learn nothing new when you watch the first tutorial. So let's start with a more complex task. Let's say this road here is a two lane road, which is fine. But this road here, uh, road here is also a two lane road, but it's a one way road. So you can only uh, drive in this direction here. This means you have uh, this traffic light here. 
I will copy this right now like this and I put it now here. I rotate the traffic light and now you see we have this traffic light for the left direction and this traffic light here for the right direction. I don't know why it we have now here two on this side but it doesn't matter because we can change it soon. So I would say I would say this lane here so the zero group these two have to be red and when they are red this stuff here can turn green but to make it more complex i would say we give this one here the left one a specific custom face so that uh, when this one here turns green these two this one here uh, stays red and in the next round of uh, the face this one here will turn green and this one here will stay red Sounds a little bit complex, uh, complex, but don't worry, it's very easy. So this means we have uh, this group here, which are the same, zero. This is fine. But this group here, one and one, is now incorrect. This one here is one, but since this one on the left here has its own face, when let's, let's call it face, um, we have to turn this to a two. So let's add its value here, traffic light group ID to two from one to two and now this here is an own yeah you can say an own traffic light system a standalone traffic light system so let's add a intersection manager because this is what you want to see blueprints we add here the traffic light manager we put it here in the middle of the intersection because then we know where it is and we can find it and now we select any traffic light here and i ungroup them now so this one this one this one, this one, this one, this and this one. We go to the details panel, scroll down and have here under category 4, use smart uh, interaction system, please set this to true. Then we have the traffic light ID groups, we did this already and now set up interaction sector by clicking on this icon here and click on your intersection or traffic light manager. And now when we go again to details, every traffic light on this intersection has uh, the interaction sector set to this traffic light manager. Now, when we click on this traffic light manager, we can click here on the details panel and we have some options, which are very nice. First of all, the debug state, though, that we can see what's going wrong, maybe. So if something is wrong, it will show us what maybe is wrong. If we have problems, check out the Discord. This is a support Discord in the video description. And then we have here master phase duration, which is very interesting because I said uh, at the beginning, we have four phases when I'm correct now. We have the blue phase, the initial phase, zero which goes in this direction so these traffic lights here are blue and zero this one and this one this would be in the first phase green so we can have here a green light and can drive while these traffic lines are red the next phase is for example orange this is this uh, this one here though so these traffic lines are red and we can drive on the, to the right and turn right then everything is turning red again and now with green we can turn left yeah and this is the whole logic so in this case we have one two three faces which is okay which is absolutely fine so we close everything and go again to the details panel and we have here phase zero one and Two. and as I said we have three faces not four but three and if you have multiple faces you can add them here this means how long the face um, is present so if you have phase zero where the left and the right side is green how long should it stay green or how long is the duration of the face and this is why it's called master face duration I set it now to 5 seconds because we don't have so much time here and then we have the intersection ID. This is something we will need to change later and this is what we do uh, or what we will do now because here you can set your custom face um, logic. And then we have disable intersection which simply when I press this or when I not press this, now we, we press this and now I press the 
When I press this, I click simulate, we have here the debug messages and you see nothing and we are in game here because I disabled the whole um, intersection. So you can use on intersection ID the presets I am um, included already, but in my case I will create a new intersection logic and this is how you can create also very complex multi-lane roads and intersections. We go to blueprints tables here and then we have traffic light manager settings. We do a double click on this and here we have everything we need to yeah, create our own custom logic and own custom complex logic. So first of all, I click here on add. So we add a new group here, a new uh, entry. And I will call this, we have four traffic lights. Let's call it four um, TL. We don't have pedestrian lights, so W pad. I don't include this tag. Um, TL one way, one way. O W one way. It's just a debug name, but I copied this debug name, also row name, and uh, insert it here to the ID. Okay. And after we did this, we click on entry, and you see we have two entries by default. So in our case, we need multiple entries because we have three. Faces. So we need 0, 1, 2. In my case, I delete now uh, the row 1 here because I want to copy soon this one here. And each entry represents a face. A face where something is red and something is green. So for example, we have the first face where left and right should be green. And left and right, you remember, is always 0. So what we do now is I open the index 0 here. Uh, we can do a description here. I would say we call this 0 because we yeah, change or, or the priority lane is here um, the ones from 0. Uh, you don't have to set a description. This is uh, just uh, that you don't get confused by your own configs. So we have the light states. We open them and now we have one index. So th because we have green and red we will add two uh, light states. So let's do this light states at one. Very nice. So now we have the face, which is red. And here it should be green. Yeah, we have our, we have also yellow and something like this, but you can just simply go with red and green or blinking or disable. Just ignore yellow on this point. So the topper entry is the one from of which traffic lights should be red, for example. While the index one here down below is uh, the entry uh, which traffic lights should be green, while the other ones here are red. So we add now multiple traffic light group IDs. We have zero, one, and two. So add one, two, three. And down below we add also one, two, three. And we know that index zero should be green. So we click on the other ones here, that the other ones should be uh, red, while the green face zero is true. Yeah. So the left and right traffic light here, where you can see this wonderful zero at the top is now green, while here green face green, while the other entries here are red. Okay, just make sure that you take everything correctly and then we can continue. So this is done. We copy now this entry by right clicking on this entry and clicking on copy. So and then I add a new entry. Now right click and paste on index one. And this is my second or well, my yeah, my second phase. So it's one because in the Unreal Engine mostly we start with zero when we talk about the first entry. Zero, one, two would be three entries. So okay, now we go to the light states and you remember when we enter phase one, and not zero, the right traffic light here with the ID 1 should be go to the green mode while every other traffic light should be stay red. Okay, now we click on group IDs and now I remove the red mark here and we click uh, to the group ID 0 that it goes red. While we click here on index 1 now and set it up where is it exactly green. So green is now indexed 1 and not index 0. After we did this, we copy it again, we duplicate it and bam, insert, we do the same thing. But this time it's 2. So our group ID 2 is now green. So in this case, we uh, remove the tick here 
and I add the tick to index 2 because it's now green. And that's it. Very nice. We can add an additional phase for example where you can set it up that after this phase, final phase, the phase 3 should turn all traffic lights for example red. This is possible. I will show it to you right now because I think it's an interesting uh, thing to know. So this is a red one. All red. So, and we have in this case no green phase, but we have only red phases. So everything red. We say save and we copy the ID, this one here. And then we can close this one here. We select our intersection manager or traffic light manager here in the middle. We go to the details panel and we add this name for TLOW. Very nice. Okay, let's look uh, if we did something wrong. I click simulate and we can see now nothing because <laughs> I remember I disabled the uh, intersection. So make sure you don't have here a tick. So now I want to um, simulate the whole stuff. And now we saw a problem. Did you saw the error message in red here? It told us you have a missing master entry. Um, I can show it to you again when we click here on the intersection manager. I change now the duration of each phase um, to two seconds, though so that it's very fast. And uh, spend attention on the top of left uh, corner where we now have this error message. Master phase duration entries is missing. This happens because you remembered we add one entry for the um, left and right side, then one entry for this one here, one entry for this one here. These are three entries right now. But now we added a um, fourth entry where we set everything to red. Do you remember? So we click on details panel here on the intersection or traffic line manager. We go to master phase duration, click here on the plus, and then we have here an additional entry. I call this three and I set this to two. So after we did this, you can see no error messages are appearing anymore. The debug states at the top or left corner are completely fine. We have now, it's, it's too fast, yeah. The traffic light can't um, switch uh, properly because it's just too fast. Let it set to, yeah, let's say six seconds for each phase. Or maybe the last one are only four seconds. Okay, let's watch if we did something wrong. Green, left and right, of course. Then green to the turn right um, lane. Then after this one here, the turn left lane should be go to the green mode. Yes, everything is red. And now everything should go to the red state. And bam, everything is red. Why now you can see left and right is green again. And you can do unlimited entries in your logic and can create on this way multiple yeah, complex traffic situations. And you can see specific ones also in the demo map in the showcase map of smart traffic light. I mean, in our situation here in the tutorial, we should logically delete uh, phase three where we separated the turn left and turn right uh, green state because when I turn left and right, there is no um, crossing. So I mean, whose uh, traffic lights should be go green and not the one and then after this, the other one. You know what I mean? So this is a complex traffic intersection and I think it's the next tutorial I will show you how to set up some very nice pedestrian buttons which are actually working. So I hope you learned today how to create intersections. It's very easy and if you have questions don't hesitate to ask me and join the Discord support server. I'm not used to speaking so much English in videos in general so I try to improve this. Sorry for that. I hope you understood everything and if not just write me in Discord and I try to explain you everything. See you!